to see how that interacts too, because Incineroar has a, uh, I wouldn't even put the word good or bad, an interesting matchup into either Fox or Yoshi. Yeah. It's gonna be game one, Pokemon Stadium here, winner semis. And look at that, the immediate dash attack run to the center, that's what we like to see. Um, I always worry when I see Fox in a doubles team, I worry for the Fox player. Right, right. Um, and Fox is a much better doubles character than I give him credit for because, I mean, he does have the hitboxes, the kills, the speed. But especially against, like, Game Watch and Ensign, things could get ugly fast if Comet is not protected. Um, so far, it's pretty even. Slight advantage to... Well, not really any advantage, actually. It's just pretty straight up even right now. So. By the time you finish that sentence, it may just change anyway. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Going at it right now. Kind of splitting off, but then switching into the 1v1s. It's going to be tough right now. This is also not where you want to be. Incineroar yeah. has some really interesting hitboxes all throughout Alolan Whip. And Fox up smash also a great hitbox. As yeah, well. look at that. Fox on stage by himself for one minute and right. immediately gets the up smash kill. Ooh, see that speed you were talking about mm -hmm. right there. Beating up, you know, one of the teammates, immediately jumping up into the up air for the follow up for your teammate is just very good stuff. So, there yeah. it goes. On the back foot, but they're making it work. It's going okay, although, I mean, Comet really starting to blow up a little bit here. Right. Low percent, doing a lot of damage. Oh, and then just like that, Commentator's Curse gets a little and whip right quick. Ooh, and a nice little edge guard right there, too. The air dodge yeah. still getting beat out by another neutral air from the Incineroar. Like, so smart right there. Yeah, and unfortunately for the uh, blue team, Yoshi does make it back on and gets a kill real quick. Finally does lose a stock. We are at even stocks in a, you know, number-wise, but right, right. situationally it's definitely a little weird. Incineroar is going to be the stock tank out of these characters, though, and maybe Yoshi. Um, it seems like since the initial sort of area, it's been just a lot of scrapping. Definitely, definitely. They are going at it right now. It's really hard to do play-by-play -play because they are just moving so fast. Blue team, though, big opportunity here to take some stage control, add on some damage right now, but Fox makes it back to the stage. Yoshi trying to find some way back down, but goes from ledge to ledge, basically. Yeah, I mean, we will see. Okay, Yoshi now getting some damage on the Incineroar. Uh, Comet definitely in danger here, but playing pretty fearlessly, I will say. Yeah, after losing one stock at like 70, making it to 130 is a bit of a blessing for red team. No big oh, punish. Oh yeah, no. look at that forward throw into the up smash from Yoshi. And uh, yeah, okay, so Game Watch is gonna take that stock. Uh, this is, despite the stock deficit, this certainly is not over, especially with the percent that these characters are on, and just like that, you know, where Yoshi kill away from even stocks. Yeah, and we can definitely see something with the Incineroar as well. We've seen some pretty ambitious revenges already work out. This is unfortunately, though, uh, sealed deal, the throw into the Yoshi up smash. Yeah, the and second time in a row we see it there. It's so good. Those team combos, like I said, just so planned out, already thinking about it. Not gonna make it back. Or, sorry, he's gonna make it back with no problem. I also thought they were making right. it back, but look at that. Ooh, the platform play. Comet, I, I've seen Comet play a few times, and they are so good with the platforms. Right. Like, I mean, Foxes in general are, but I feel like Comet especially really capitalizes. Oh my gosh, and this is the last place you wanna be as a little game and watch. Right. All of those aerials that are normally so good are pretty easy to exploit when uh, you're not getting hit by them, right? Yeah. So if Fox gets hit by the neutral air, Yoshi can jump, and there is another. <laughs> Three for three, forward throw, and a Yoshi up smash, and they're having a great time. Well, the one team is having a great time. One team's having a great time, yeah. Three, three forward throw up smashes. They're, you know, that last one was obviously a little easier to time, but it was really impressing me for the first couple stocks right. with how quickly Dro reacted to the forward throw. Like, I mean, it's just a sign, like you were saying, of uh, how much synergy these two have. Like, right. as soon as they were in that kill situation, Dro was ready for it, so. Um, really great stuff to the red team there. Blue team definitely held their own. It, yeah, it yeah, could have yeah. gone their way with a few different interactions, but red team looked pretty solidly in control, I'd say. Yeah, I mean, there is something to be said, too, that blue team can adjust on maybe some of like the edge guards, for example. We saw mm -hmm. one early stock from Comet, but if there is a second early stock, all of a sudden that's a very different game for blue team. Yeah, for sure. If we saw some pretty good revenges that activated but never got cashed in. If we saw those cashed in from D-Money, also a very different game. There's a lot of things that had to go right for Red Team to take it, and it's going to be a pretty tall ask to make sure all of those things go right for the rest of the set. So we're going into game two on FD. Yeah, okay, FD. So they did not like the uh, platform play that was going on, and I understand. I mean, these two characters, 
definitely can juggle. And, you know, both Game & Watch and Incineroar definitely like the juggles too, but I feel like Fox and Yoshi were really abusing that. Um, so I like the lack of platforms here. I am a little bit worried for Incineroar. Hopefully, you know, Incineroar doesn't mm -hmm. kind of get stuck above Yoshi or Fox, but so far it's kind of working out. Game & Watch having a bit of a rough go, but there is the money coming in with the save. Yeah, I mean, it's a very good point. Uh, out of all these characters, Incineroar is the most susceptible to being juggled on a flat stage like this, but uh, the big Game & Watch up smash will take Comet stock pretty early, and there's a revenge. Yep, yeah, let's see if we can get something going with it. It's gonna be a lot of damage, though, and the revenge is unfortunately not going to be too big a deal right now, and Red Team fighting back off the ledge right now. It's really nice of Blue Team to let them just yeah. get a little bit of stage. <laughs> let them come back on, stay a while. Um, ooh, ooh, big. Oh, at the footstool, too. I mean, oh, unfortunate. Man. I do. Uh, I mean, that's tough. I like the attempt, but unfortunately, mistimed it, and then both stocks get, end up being lost. Right. If you don't get the save, and then your get re grab gets punished, it's unfortunately a pretty big momentum swing. All in red team saver now. Only one stock gone so far. We got Dro holding on right now. 132. Yeah, look at this. And the, okay, we've got a. We have a revenge activated. And Fox is, Fox is at a percent that you could die. I think it's a... Okay, no, I thought he got another stack, but uh, I think it got used up. Oh, no. Oh. That was a Yoshi jab into the Fox Horde Smash as a follow-up. Unbelievable. These two, they just find it. I Honestly, the situational awareness is crazy. Like, right, right. with how hectic and fast they're playing to immediately recognize. I mean, we, we touched on it in between games, but it's it's especially impressive to watch. Definitely. It turns those small wins into really big payouts. Yep. Like, Yoshi just got a jab. Normally, that doesn't lead to anything, but mm -hmm. to take a stock that early with some really solid, like almost entirely horizontal knockback, really good stuff. Yeah, really impressive work from the red team. After blue team went off to a little bit of a lead earlier, red team has completely swung it around. Um, Fox is gonna drop a stock here, but that dro the dro stock tanking has been pretty critical this game so far. Definitely, definitely. But Ugh. big pickup for blue team. <laughs> yeah, that stock is gone. Did not expect that to land. And oh, nice little mix up too from Dro. Really using that aerial mobility. Kind of mixing up blue team, not knowing exactly where you're going to approach, definitely mm -hmm. makes those defensive options harder to get right. Yeah, absolutely. And the okay, so nice stuff from Dro to go and disrupt the corner pressure from uh, from Eric though, because um, Fox against Game Watch at the ledge can definitely be tricky. Um, but the the percents are all red team right now. I mean, you obviously do have to find the kill before things get a little too scary. So I mean, blue team's still in it. Yeah. yeah. Um, but Red Team's pickups have just been so solid. Oh, wow. The Alolan Whip gets interrupted as well. And now this is definitely looking like Red Team's game here. Does get the tech. Should be able to. No, doesn't wow. make it back. That's I expected tough. just the dodge after the Alolan Whip attempt. but mm. Yeah, got, got stuck under the stage a little yeah. bit there. Uh, really clean stuff again from Red Team. Yeah. It was all, again, those key moments, those small wins that they turned into huge, huge momentum shifts. Mm -hmm. Like that forward smash that we saw off of a stray Yoshi jab, and I don't even blame, like, I think D-Money was the one who was kind of stuck in that situation. Just mm -hmm. had to get, do, like, a regular get-up. Couldn't really put the pressure on Dro, and then it just led to, you know, the, on Eric just getting knocked out by that yeah, it was it was tough. I mean, it's the kind of thing where the red team's just moving faster. Like, before blue team even really realized what was happening, the stock was gone. Um, so I think that's sort of been the theme, right? Like, these teams both clearly have synergy and have played together. I think Red Team's just been a little bit more on point with it. Um, and like they, it's like you're saying, you know, they're those little wins, they're turning bad situations into good ones, turning good situations into better ones. Right, right. It's really impressive stuff. Ooh, even right there, really good pickup. Uh, oh. Speaking of a good pickup, oh my gosh. <laughs> the down airs have been hitting for D-Money and they are exactly what Blue Team's looking for right now. Um, yeah. Getting an early stock on Yoshi, especially, that is that is uh, really good for the blue team. We'll see if they can carry this momentum for the rest of the game. Oh, okay. The Alolan Whip does get interrupted, but still holding onto that stock is huge right now. Ooh, okay. okay, we're got an edge guard situation. All right, tried a little bit too much right there. And wow. two quick ones for red team. Only 15% on common. Yeah, look at this. Right. So much momentum right now. Only taking 15% in the first minutes of a double game as Fox, I mean, that is that is impressive. All right, stuck on the ledge right now. It's going to be a nice little cross chop, make it back. They're fighting over here on the left side. Oh, just so Ooh. tense right now. Get out of the, <laughs> the corner. <chuckles. laughs> 
those kicks, the kicks and the tail just going crazy on the juggles right now for the red team. But uh, we got a revenge activated. Oh, but that grab will get it right out of there. Now we got another juggle situation. Ooh, and the neutral air just scraping the blast zone right there. Still holding on. Game watch up air is not going to do it either. Blue team cannot find the stocks right now. Yeah, and we saw another forward throw up smash. Obviously didn't kill, but great damage. And there's this another stock on Yoshi. Nice little F-tilt, but the air dodge was scouted out so far in advance. Blue team on the last leg right now here in game three. Wow. Trying to fight back, though. Yeah, and I mean, Fox just losing his first stock. That is that is wild. The little Fox that could right now. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, goes for the shine, but almost gets spiked for it. But we are both, everyone's alive. It's all, it's all good. Yeah, we're still worried, though. What a gamble that was over on the left side now. Fighting back. Big revenge. This Alolan Ooh. whip. Oh, my God. Okay. That one Alolan whip. AG, I don't know. This is getting this is getting a little scary if they're the red team. I think you can't even speak to how much that Alolan whip did for the blue team. It took the stock, but it just increased the mood drastically. So right now, we got Fox getting back here by Game Watch over on the right side. Yoshi getting Alolan whip in center stage. Blue team looks so good Look right now. They're running away with it. What, and just like that, the game has changed. You know, blue, uh, red team still very well could come out with the win. They do still have the percent lead, but blue team, signs of life we haven't really seen in a, in a little bit here. Well, the Yoshi up air is going to kind of give red team center stage right now. A lot of damage, a lot of pressure right now from red team. Blue team fighting back, though. Really good options. Game watch up smash and up special. No throw combo, though. Ooh. Yeah, not quite in the position for it. The back air will do it, but this, I mean, everyone's at high percent. This is certainly not not doable. The synergy, I think, you know, if one of them gets a grab, it's looking bad, or even like a jab like we saw earlier, or just a straight up back air. All right, all right. A little bit of a, you know, quieter ending to that, but really great stuff to the blue team, but obviously even better stuff to the red team. They look so clean throughout. Comet and Dro, very well-deserved spot in winner's finals. Right, right. I mean... You know, we were bigging up blue team a little bit, but it really was red team's confidence going from like 10, 10, 10 to like a nine, and mm -hmm. then still 10 at the end. Yeah. <laughs> but it was looking pretty good. They had some really good momentum. Like I said, that Alolan whip, yep. early stock, and all of a sudden they looked so confident in all their offensive options. They looked like they just held it down center stage. They were like, yep. this is our spot. Do not mess with us. Unfortunately, red team was like, but we're actually still going to mess with you. We're still, still going to do that. Gonna yeah. Do, yeah. <laughs> so we're going to take the stage back, actually. So yeah. really good showing, though. And it is shaping up to be a nice winner's finals. Yeah, that's going to be a fun one. Very excited to see how those teams interact. But we have some other matches still going on in yeah. the loser's so side me, as well. Let me Bring take a little yeah. checky here. What, what do you got? What do you got? Uh,